Hey guys, um, I just wanted to review of the Posh Micro X, the smallest smartphone in the world, as as they put it themselves. Had this phone for about three weeks, and I'm surprised at how much I've used it uh, in that time. So, it's running operating system Android 4.4 KitKat. It's got a dual core processor. Phone is 1.88 inches by 3.5 inches. The screen display is 2.45 inches. It has a small 650 milliamp MAH battery with a 4 gig ROM. Also supports micro SD card up to 32 gigs. So, basically I bought this phone as a secondary phone. The My main phone is the Note 5 from Samsung. Uh, I'm just going to go through um, the pros and cons of this phone with you guys. So, the price of the phone is pretty good. Um, that's one of the things that attracted me to the phone. Uh, when I bought it, it was thirty dollars, but on Amazon right now it's about sixty-eight or something like that. Uh, if you guys are looking for something that's small um, and something that you can put in your pocket, take around with you anywhere, uh, this is the phone for you. Uh, it also has a little ring on the phone under the back cover where you could hook it up to some kind of chain and hang it on your neck or or on you somewhere uh, I like the clean appearance of it uh, from the looks of it they designed it pretty well it's a clean and minimal slick appearance one thing you're going to notice when you have the phone is that the resolution is low um, but the tiny screen uh, kind of makes up for uh, makes up for the resolution. However, everything that you're gonna look at on the phone is gonna be real small. So if you had have eyes that aren't that great, um, this is probably not the phone for you. The sound quality on the speaker is pretty decent uh, for um, for a phone of this size. Although you probably want to use headphones when listening to anything off of this phone. And I have to say that the headphone sound is not too bad. But I guess that kind of depends on what kind of headphones you're using. It runs Android 4.4.2. Which is an older version of Android. But even with the patch. Um, the... Uh, the OS version didn't change. Surprisingly, the response on the phone was um, on the operating system was pretty good. Uh, there were some la some lags here and there, um, browsing the internet and such, but you didn't get that. And I don't know whether that that's because the phone has um, was running a little bit slow, or whether that was an internet connection. Um, it runs streaming apps just fine. I was running uh, Spotify in there with, and Pandora, and and it handled those two apps pretty decent. Uh, streaming videos work okay, although I've only tried YouTube. But uh, it seems like the frames per second is low on this phone than on higher end phones. Um, I've also uh, played a couple games on here, tried Angry Birds, and uh, a couple other games that I downloaded, um, and uh, it worked kind of fine, but uh, I don't know uh, if it works that much better with uh, more advanced games like Grand Theft Auto. I like the fact that there is an SD card slot on this phone, 
uh, where you can uh, install apps to instead of on the internal memory of the phone. Okay, um, on to the battery life. The battery life on this phone is is uh, not too great. Though, it's that's to be expected since the battery is very small on this phone and this phone itself is very, very small. Uh, like I said earlier, it's a, a very small phone so you're going to have uh, it's going to be really, really light in your hand. Uh, the only downside I had with this phone is the camera. Uh, camera photos were really low quality, as, as well as the video um, on both the front and the back camera. Um, but if you need to record it, if you need something to record as far as something that's on the spot to record like an accident or something like that where you know, you're not going to be worried about details in the photo, like fine details in the photo, then it, it'll work okay for you. But aside from that, this phone does not have uh, a flash on it which was um, something that I found disappointing.